colleagues Singhal. I'm a professor of CIT at Rose State College, Midwest City, Oklahoma. I'm going to do these bunch of tutorials on C++11, which is a new language by Microsoft, uh, by NC Committee. And those of you who want to learn C++11 can benefit from that. First of all, what is C++11? C++11 is a new and vastly expanded version of C++. And the C++11 standard was passed by NC C++ committee in 2011. Therefore, the name C++11 came from there. Compiler manufacturers are adding new C++11 features with each new compiler version. This tutorial will be limited in scope. So after doing this, feel free to do your own research on internet and learn more C++11. Okay, what are the compatible compilers that are usable to study and learn C++11? At the time of this tutorial, which was done in August 2013, the best C++11 compatibility exists in GCC compiler, whose current version is GCC 4.8.1. This compiler is available from website gcc.gnu.org. In fact, GCC 4.8.1 is claimed to be C++11 feature complete and the web page below gives you the details of which GCC compiler has which parts of C++11 implemented. The web page is gcc.gnu.org slash project slash cxx0x.html. <coughs> there are other comparable compilers of course. You have Visual C++ 2012 for Windows. You have Xcode for Mac OS. Uh, Visual C++ 2012 is available to students for free through a Microsoft DreamSparks program. Xcode is available for free after you register as an Apple developer on their website. You can Google both terms, DreamSparks, and how to get Xcode if you wish to use those compilers, I will use them in future and show you uh, C++11 on them. You can also look up Microsoft and Apple websites to see the degree of compatibility of Visual C++ 2012 or Xcode with C++11 specification. So, question is how to do C++11 programming on Windows? Well, the truth is that GNU GCC compiler is really for Unix Linux systems. That really means that to do true G C++11 programming, you should do it on Unix or Linux. But since most people use Microsoft Windows, the rest of the tutorial and other tutorials will be assuming that you are going to use Windows 7 or XP, but you do not have Visual C++ 2012. Okay. Sorry people, I do not have Windows 8 and nor am I in a hurry to get it. So, need to go back. Okay. First you need to get and install something called Code Blocks. It's a free compiler. Uh, GNU GCC version that can work for Windows is called MinGW. Min stands for minimalist. But you do not have to worry about it. As a compiler called Code Blocks will install a regular though not the absolute latest GCC compiler on your system. Now follow along on the internet now. I'm going to close this, don't need it, and go to the internet, and I'm just going to start you off from the Google, so type code blocks, and here's the website, you can directly go to downloads, and say download the binary release, and for Windows 2000 XP Vista and 7, uh, you can download this one. You can read this note here. They talk about some access ad admin right problem, but I think that's not a major problem actually. So you can click here. It will download. I don't download it to desktop. 96.8 megabyte. Once it's downloaded, uh, you will see this kind of icon for code blocks uh, for the downloaded file. Computer. 
you can just right click and say run as administrator say yes here and it will start so wizard will start just take all the defaults like next I agree and so on and code blocks will be installed okay right now I'm going to cancel it so the compiler has been installed on your computer on my computer it is under since my computer is 64 bit code blocks is 32 bit it's installed under program files x86 code blocks min gw and there's a bin folder and we really need to copy this path into our environmental variables in order for the compiler to be seen in the system which I'm going to use to compile the program. So I can highlight that, right click and say copy. And then I right click on my computer, properties, advanced system setting, environmental variables. Go to this portion here, click on path, edit. And really, the goal is to, the path that I just copied is to add to this. And really, I already have done that. Uh, I put a semicolon before pasting the path. And this is the path that I copied. And I put a semicolon at the end, just in case there will be another path in the future. And once I copied the path here, I click OK three OKs, OK, and OK, and my environmental variable is set, OK? Then what I have done is, uh, on C drive, I I already had it open, so I can just open it again. So I typed a little bit of C++ 11 code, number include IO stream, using namespace std, and I know my industry friends will say that I should do using std colon colon c out and etc. But this is a shortcut, so uh, to save time, I'm doing that. And here is the code int main auto keyword was added in C++ 11 and the meaning of auto keyword is that I define a variable called val whatever value is assigned here C++ 11 will take the clue for the type of this variable from this value since this is an int the use of keyword auto is will assign an int type uh, data type to val so in a way, auto is just like var in C sharp. Okay, and then I'm outputting the value of val here and return zero. Okay. So let's just save it. Make sure extension to your file is CPP, not anything else. It will not compile if it's anything else. And then I'm going to copy this path here. Go here, type cmd for the command. And I'll type change directory, right click, paste, copy that path. If I do directory here, it should show up. That's my file here. And really, I'm almost uh, fanatic about copy and pasting because I make typing errors. So I copied the name of this file. Okay, the compiler for C++ is not GCC, it is G++. So first, we invoke the compiler. Then we tell the compiler that we want to use C++11. So that is minus std equals C++11. And people understand this is lowercase c. 
I made a mistake of making it uppercase C and it didn't work. Okay. Then I want to create an output file which is minus O and just call it out1 for simplicity. And now the file I'm going to compile right here and I just paste that file name. So G++ flag to the compiler that we want C++11 used. Output file is out1 and the file I'm compiling is here. And if you get no message, that means everything is okay. And it's working, working, working. Okay, no message, that means it's okay. There is no compile errors actually. Or, and it created this out1 exe. So just type out1. And see, it printed val equal to 10. Okay. So we use the C++11 keyword auto to give the identity to val set to 10. And in fact, using keyword auto in older C++ would have been a compiler. And it printed the value 10 and it works. All right. So uh, this is the first tutorial on C++11. I showed you how to use the code blocks. Uh, actually the compiler by the code blocks but the most important thing was setting this compiler flag um, because that's uh, that's the crucial part actually. all right thank you uh, for watching this was the tutorial number one on C++11 I'll come back and uh, do more of these I don't know which compiler I'll be using in future uh, sometime I'll use Xcode sometime I'll use uh, Visual Studio 2012 Sometime I may come back and use this again. So just keep watching for future tutorials. Thank you so much. Bye.